uh, over the past decade, you know, the average cost of a 30 second Super Bowl commercial has increased by 87%. My goodness, the 30 second <laughs> television commercial during this year's big game averaged $5 million. So let's talk about those ads. The expensive, expensive ads. Joining us to break down the commercials, Todd Markham, president of Access, the largest independent advertising firm in the region. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. So overall, what'd you think? It's it's kind of funny. Every year, I always watch the ads. I mean, I, I'm yeah. absorbed by them. It's uh, it's something that you're going to be asked about if you're in the profession the next day for sure. Right. And in the moment, I was thinking, eh, you know, this is just not a real strong year. And then once I got past. Once I got past at the end of the game, started looking back on it, like, you know, well, I sort of like that. Well, yes. that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. That was neat. Maybe it wasn't such a bad year after all. So, right. so yeah, I, I, I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good uh, ad offering universally. There were some high, high points, some low points, some winners, Definitely. some losers, like there are every year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I, sh I want to share my winner. Yes. My absolutely. winner was absolutely the Tide ad. Take a look. Okay. Just a typical Super Bowl car ad. Right? Or a hilarious beer ad. <laughs> or whatever ad this is. Whatever. But it's a Tide ad. What? It's a Tide. <laughs> I, I loved this so, so there much. There were several of these throughout the night that we saw. They did. And it, what I love so much about it is... It, Every time an advertisement came on, I was wondering <laughs> if it was going to be another Tide ad. Like, oh. I didn't want them to trick me. Oh, what did yeah. you think of them? Did you love them? Yeah, uh, every year we do a blog with our staff, and we, we, you know, everybody weighs in on what their favorite. Half the staff said, oh, Tide was it. Tide won the Super Bowl. Yes. Tide, Tide owned it. And, yeah. and, and they did. It was... It was um, it was engaging. Uh, um, I love the Old Spice parody. By that time, you saw it coming, and you still loved it. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and then the Eli Manning, the Dirty Dancing With ad. Odell Beckham Jr. So, so funny. funny. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Now I have the time of my life. Okay, I have to admit, I didn't get it at first. Oh. <laughs> but they're talking about the whole celebrations yes, after. Yes, how celebrations had, are back. They're back. Okay, so what did you think, Todd? Did you like this one? Oh, I loved it. Okay. I, because they could have phoned it in. It's the NFL on the Super Bowl. Right. Show a couple of superstars, you're out. Why you do you even your job. advertise? You know, right. right. But I, I, now, of course, our area has a closer tie than most to Dirty Dancing with the. Totally. But with, but, yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was fantastic. I love that they made the jump at the end. You <laughs> yes. know, baby uh -huh. would have been proud. <laughs> there you go, right there. Yeah. I love it. Okay, yeah. so we saw a couple categories, and again, they released a lot of these ads early. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a benefit for them to do that? I, I think that it is. A, a, a lot of people, you get so much, uh, so much extra reach online, mm -hmm. and you get. Uh, I think it was the, the Bud commercial. I had friends sharing it on Facebook. Oh, this is good. This is neat. This is how ads should be. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, you just get a lot of extra buzz. And if you're paying $5 million for an ad, you're going to take... Uh, and that discounts the amount of money that you paid to produce the ad. I have no idea how much that Viking ad that they produced oh, where right, they were right, sailing the right, truck. Right, uh, the it, Ram it, trucks. It, millions and it, much more than the cost of the ad at uh, this point. Right. Getting that extra boost is is very important, and just just realizing the value you're getting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the um the the teaser was a big thing. You know, the teaser for up and coming, like the um the Alexa loses her voice. Let's take a look at that one. In Austin, it's 60 degrees with its. <laughs> Alexa. Amazon's Alexa lost her voice this morning, causing a Alexa lost her voice. How is that even possible? We have the replacements ready. Just say the word. And you're sure this is going to work? <laughs> I love, they got big stars for this one. I mean, Gordon Ramsay was mm -hmm. giving tips. We had Cardi B who refused to play a country song. I, I really, I really enjoyed this one. Mm -hmm. What I loved about it is that they're saying, okay, we don't have to explain what Alexa is anymore. We don't have to explain what these yeah. things are in your house. We, these are actually part of our, our, our collective, our, our collective uh, uh, conscience now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know what it is. 
that's that's a pretty bold move. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then a lot of these companies were touting their um, philanthropy. Mm -hmm. We had the Budweiser ad. Let's take a look at that real quick. I'll be right there. Now the storm is affecting thousands of families, people still in desperate need of aid. When the night. What'd you think of this one? Yeah. I, 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 I loved it. Now I'm a softy. At, the, uh -huh. at this right, kind of right. uh, but I really liked it in that um, it, it w beer is kind of an easy and hard thing to advertise. Uh, uh, you know, it tastes like it tastes, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and you either and, like it or you and, don't. Yeah, yeah, you like it or you don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think this said something about the company. I don't know if you remember last year's commercial. Last year, last year's Budweiser commercial was about the coming to America of the founders yes, and everything. Yes, right. Yeah. And and. It was, in my opinion, a little divisive, and it was certainly too political. Right. Yeah, it was. It was really dressed up. Mm -hmm. the, the facts right. were not. The facts were not supported. It was romanticized quite a bit. Mm -hmm. This was something that everybody could love. Yeah. If they sold Budweiser water, I would go out and buy a case of Budweiser <laughs> water. That's today. what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We yeah. really appreciate it. And of course, you know, let us know your favorite commercials as well. We'd love yeah. to hear from it, from you.